Hey there everyone, um, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get MPI set up on Windows 10. Um, for this tutorial, I'll be using uh, Microsoft Visual Studio as the IDE, um, mainly because of the uh, developer command prompt it has. It has a uh, built-in compiler. Um, you can use other IDEs like Eclipse or anything else, but you may or may not have to set up your own compilers, and uh, this was just easier for me. Um, so first thing you'll need to do to get MPI set up is uh, install MPI itself, um, which I will include in the description. Um, so you'll need to install uh, MS MPI uh, SDK MSI and MS MPI setup .exe. So once you have uh, those guys set up and installed, um, a good way to check that they're installed is the command uh, set MS MPI. And what it will do is it will set up the environment variables uh, for uh, Microsoft MPI and uh, go ahead and uh, set those to the uh, appropriate um, uh, file locations. Um, so then once you have that set up, uh, we can go ahead and create a project in Visual Studio. So what we're going to do is file new project. And I'm going to call this uh, MPI test. And what we're going to do, um, and this is why uh, you should be running uh, Visual Studio as administrator in this case, uh, if you are not already. Um, so go ahead and browse to your C drive um, to the following address. So look at this C, program files 86, Microsoft SDKs, and then MPI. And then go ahead and make a, or actually um, go to MPI, go back one folder and go to MPI, select that folder. Um, so. The, the location of the project should be right here. It's going to create an MPI uh, test project folder. Uh, select OK. Now go next and finish. Give it a moment. There we go. OK. Now notice the comment at the top of the uh, coding window there. Um, the MPI test.c++ file. Um, it says it's the entry point for the console application. So. Um, in other words, this is essentially where it looks for all other uh, uh, files, header files, um, source files from. Uh, so because of that, um, we have to move uh, MPI uh, to where that is or messed with some uh, uh, C++ and some linker settings in Visual Studio, but I uh, didn't want to deal with that. Um, so what you're going to do is... Uh, if I can, uh, find the correct uh, library here. Here we go. Okay, and uh, here's our MPI test folder um, that we created. So what we're going to do is copy all three of these folders into MPI test. Um, don't want you to be admin for this. There you go. And now that we have all these in here, what we can do is uh, go ahead and start coding. So first thing we're going to do is include. Um, go ahead and go into this include folder and then mpi.h. Um, that's the mpi he header file. Uh, that's where basically uh, all of MPI's uh, main methods and uh, variables are. So it's 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 where you're calling anything MPI related and setting up the M MPI environment from. Uh, but now that we have uh, that included, um, we can go ahead and start coding. So first thing we're going to do is actually modify the parameters of the main method. So we're going to make an int argc um, and a cursor star argv. All right, now what we're going to do is initialize MPI. So we have to type MPI init, and then we're going to go and type in null. Null, OK, there we go. And uh, now what we're going to do is well, we need to get the uh, actual number of processes that are going on in the MPI environment. So we're going to make an int called num processes. And then go ahead and call MPI com size. Uh, let's see, use the variable MPI com world. Let's see if that pops up or not. Let's see. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and assign that to 
num processes right here. Now, uh, when you're coding this, if you don't get uh, these uh, purple variables, that means MPI that age is probably not included correctly. Um, and uh, you need to go ahead and uh, get that set up correctly. Um, so again, um, all you're going to do is one moment here is you're going to uh, move the include uh, library and license file from MPI into your project folder, um, just to re reiterate that again. And then uh, Visual Studio should pick up that um, MPI.h is just right here in the include folder. So just to reiterate how to set that up. And then, uh, so now that we have that called, what we're gonna do is we're going to get the rank of the active processor. So we're gonna make an ant rank and then call, um, I'm just gonna copy this here. So this is an MPI com size, we're gonna do MPI com rank. Uh, use the same MPI com world and instead of num processes, we're going to type rank. Okay, now uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to get the name of the processor that's uh, actually active. So what we're gonna do is create a uh, character array processor uh, name. And then what we're going to do is type in the variable MPI max processor. Oh, there it is. MPI max processor name. Okay, now that we have that set up, what we can do is make an int name. And now we can do MPI get processor name. There we go. And now what we can do is uh, put the uh, character right here, so processor name, there we go. And assign it the int here. So int name, let's see, okay. Not gonna get any errors in that, so that looks set up correctly. And now what we're gonna do is uh, make a print statement to print all of this uh, garbage out. So, so we're gonna type printf and then hello uh, type world uh, from processor uh, then we're going to use oh, that, uh, character array in this term form string so uh, percent s then rank percent d and then what we're going to do is give a string here out of percent d uh, processors and new line that. Now the string is going to be the processor name. Hold that up for me. Now rank. And then num process. Now we can go ahead and close that line. And now before we uh, end the program, what we're going to do is call MPI finalize. Otherwise, everything will crash. So please call it. There we go. That what it will do is, success, is successfully shut down the MPI environment. Okay, now we can go ahead and save this. And now that we have our sort of hello world program written, uh, we can start uh, compiling it. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, navigate to where the C++ file is. So give me just a moment to pull it up. So uh, right here in your MPI, MPI test, and then MPI test, C++ is right there. So we're going to navigate there and the command prompt, now we're there. As you can see, the C++ file is right there. So um, now in the developer command prompt for Visual Studio, uh, how you compile things is the CL command. And now what we do is MPI test, that's CPP. And um, now because we didn't set things up with the uh, linker in Visual Studio and the C++ and C, C, library, uh, and C libraries earlier, uh, we're going to have to include some things whenever we compile this. Um, but beyond that, we won't have to do uh, anything else. So what we had to do is forward slash I for include. And then we're gonna have to, to include uh, two, um, well actually uh, one folder and one file. So the, we're, gonna, we're going to first include the folder um, for the file to act off of. So what we're gonna do is uh, go over here to MPI, or basically M MPI, MPI test include, copy that into here. Okay, and now that we have that set up, what we're gonna do is we have to go to the library file, 
And since we're running 32-bit, uh, note, debug, 32-bit, um, gonna go over here, and so going to paste that address. And now we still have to call the file, so I have to do backslash msmpi dot library. Um, now these won't be recognized as library files most likely on your computer because um, these are, uh, as you can see, what are being recognized as PSPICE models. Um, if they don't have a, a uh, application associated with them, do not worry about that. Um, but anyways, now that we have that set up, let me go ahead and double check the command here. Uh, looks pretty, pretty, pretty lengthy, but it's not terrible. Um, go ahead and look at all that. All right, let's see if it runs. And it did. Uh, so, as you can see, it outputted the file mpitest.exe. So now what we can do is run exactly that. And uh, let's see, I have to allow access. And ta-da. Uh, and it says hello from processor, uh, the name of my desktop in this case. And uh, since this is all local to my machine, um, it is the, has the zero width rank out of one total process, uh, processors. Um, so yeah, there we go. Now we have MPI uh, successfully uh, set up and working um, on a local computer, um, or at least a local computer uh, in terms of Windows 10. Um, there are much easier ways to do this in other operating systems like uh, Ubuntu, for example, or even OS X. Um, but I'm more partial to Windows, and I know some of you are as well, so I decided to go ahead and uh, make this quick little uh, tutorial to show you all how to get this set up. Um, I know it was a pain in my butt when I tried to uh, set it up, so I thought it'd make it a little bit easier for you all. Uh, so, uh, thanks.